This is Nagoya, the capital of Aichi Prefecture, whose urban sprawl, ancient history, and modern industrial might give this place in central Japan an unmistakable character. A lavish local sporting heritage is in this region's DNA, including, of course, one of the original 10 J-League clubs of the inaugural season, Nagoya Grampus. This is a club that has called two houses home at the same time. The charming Paloma Mizuho Stadium, which began hosting the club decades ago when they were still an amateur side, in the imposing modern Toyota Stadium, which this season serves as Grampus's lone venue. But wherever they've played, this team has not lacked one thing, star power. From the very beginning, top foreign football figures have made headlines here, including Mr. Nice Guy Gary Lineker, who starred in that very first J-League season. But no foreign player captured hearts in 90s Nagoya like Dragan Stojkovic. Pixie followed Lineker and brought not only MVP honors in 1995, but the Emperor's Cup as well. This first era of silverware came under the management of none other than Arsene Wenger. The bespectacled and, at that point, little-known French manager whose success in Nagoya earned him the top job at Arsenal, where he'd become an international icon. But it was Stojkovic's return to the club as a manager that actually ushered in the Grampus Golden Age, including a J-League title and Manager of the Year honors in 2010. Add a pair of Super Cups, and Nagoya Grampus have won a total of five trophies, every single one of them, with Stojkovic either roaming the midfield or the sidelines. So those were the good times, but it hasn't always been smooth sailing, including relegation in 2016. Nevertheless, after this shock to the system, Nagoya have rebounded, finishing third place last season, and they look ready to push on to even greater heights in 2021. Manager Massimo Ficadenti has brought sturdy defending to the Toyota Stadium, and last season no team conceded fewer goals than Nagoya. With Mitch Langerak manning the goal, Nagoya can be downright impenetrable, and the Aussies' 17 clean sheets in 34 league games last season was a J-League record. This team is more than just defense, though. The ever-dangerous Mateus returns in 2021 and is already off to an electric start in front of goal. He'll be joined by the likes of Yuki Soma and winter signing Yoichiro Kakitani to form an energetic attacking core. And there's even more talent waiting in the pipeline, as Nagoya has a history of developing tremendous players. From Keisuke Honda, who got his start as a teenager in Nagoya, to the 20-year-old Yukinari Sugobara, who recently moved to Europe, this is a club that remains unafraid to fold youth products into its plans. So what are the plans for this season? Well, ideally, domestic and continental glory are both on the agenda in Nagoya once again. After the club's recent rise back to the top flight and into the AFC Champions League, a challenge for their first J-League title since 2010 certainly seems possible. We'll see how they do this season, but this J-League original and the pride of the Aichi Prefecture is truly back and ready to shine brighter than ever before.